has installed these sculptures, worked on these sculptures. She's a wonderful person. She's a nice person. We thank her, and she's a great artist. Stay in. for collaborating with us in such a great way. Uh, I think that was wonderful. Um, also, of course, my thanks go to Adam Swerner uh, for providing a perfect site for borders. Uh, me and Adam have been communicating, like he said, for a long time. I think he will be happy to be rid of me now. No, <laughs> um, and thank you also to Bloomberg, of course, who our main sponsor for coming on board and helping uh, make Borders in Chicago a successful event. Also to the Icelandic Minister of Culture and the, the, the Icelandic Minister sends his best to all of you. And he, he's been very supportive of this program. Um, and then a very special thank you goes to uh, my colleagues uh, Eric Stevenson and, uh, and uh, Terry Karpovic, I'm not sure if he's here, who uh, installed the pieces with a great team. Uh, wouldn't have been able to do it without them, for sure. And it was not so easy, especially because uh, the truck that was supposed to bring in the, the pieces from uh, Texas uh, was late. We were one whole day in delay because the truck was um, broke down and then it was hit by another car. How can that be possible for one and the same truck in two days? So it wasn't easy to do this, but they were amazing. The team was amazing and we had to have a very speedy installation and also with the good help of my my slave, as he calls himself, my husband. <laughs> yeah, I know. It must be terrible. Uh, I feel very fortunate and honored to have been allowed to show in this amazing site in the heart of Chicago, in Salty Garden. This is the fourth venue for Porters, which was initially created for Dar Hammarskjöld Plaza in New York City by the UN headquarters. Um, Salty Garden was a natural choice and my first choice as a site here in Chicago uh, because it somehow has the right spirit and the right atmosphere and the shape also is very important because it's long and narrow. So it, in a way to me it feels like the show was made for this site. Uh, and it's not only situated in the great city of Chicago, but also in kind of the center of the city's culture and sculptural area in many ways. So the figures very naturally found their place in this site. And it's, I've been talking to a few people here, and it's so nice to see that. I thought Chicago was a big place, but turns out I know a lot of people here. So many good friends are coming and wonderful. And I've worked as a figurative artist for 35 years. Uh, for over 15 years, the base for all of these figures is my older son's body. So in a way, I've been torturing him for 15 years. But he gets paid, and uh, he has told me that, you know, uh, he has this idea that when civilization changes and people will start finding hundreds of years, people will find relics of these pieces, they will think that he was a god. <laughs> that makes him very happy. <laughs> but um, the end result, because all of these pieces are different, the end result may not look like him, but they bring them, the figures close to me, um, a little bit like my family. So um, Bortes is a, really a labor of love of for a three-year period. It took a long time to make these pieces. The, the figure pairs form a kind of a border. Um, as they line up along the park, 
uh, is a border that the viewer can cross. So as as we are all, you know, the, the, don't worry about not stepping on the grass. We can step on the grass here. Um, the pairs are made of cast iron, which is on this side. The iron side is really, and then aluminum on this side. So uh, they, these are two opposing materials, heavy and light, heaven and earth. And in many ways, the show comments on the opposites of human existence, but uh, also uh, on what unites us. And uh, the fact that fundamentally, we are all connected. I hope the people of Chicago, in all that diversity, will enjoy and embrace the show. Thank you very much. That um, concludes our uh, presentation and introduction to these sculptures to Chicago. They're going to be up here till at least next year. Uh, I'd also encourage you to walk around and look at them, say hi to them, say, shake their hand, have a conversation with them. Um, and then uh, the other thing I wanted to say is that the late Maggie Daly, uh, the Park District, the Conservancy, and a lot of people are working on a beautiful new. Uh, park in her honor at the north end of Grant Park, 20 acres. She actually was instrumental and we worked with her on getting Schulte's bust here. She was a very good friend of uh, Valerie Schulte's and so I just like to say that she was very wonderful to work with uh, in Schulte Garden. So thanks again for coming and enjoy uh, the sculptures.